So Ethan just called and told me he saw the Wyoming Jeepers drive by. He was coming up the lane toward Birmingham. Did I tell you that I saw grizzly bear tracks there on the gravel the other day? Hey Melissa, look, there's some bear scat. That is a bear scat donut. That is not a bear claw donut. That's a bear scat donut. I thought they called those bear claws. No, that's a bear scat. That's a bear scat if I've ever seen it. <laughs> it's April 24th, 2021. We're heading west of Matitsi today to go into the mountains and see what we can find. It's supposed to be 61 in Burlington, but I have a suspicion it's not going to be 61 in the mountains. So I have a backload of coats. Did you hit a tree? Yeah. Oh no! Is it okay? It's up in the tree. Elgin hit a tree and the drone is stuck in the tree. Yeah, and that is the drone That's up there. Elgin was flying the drone and he got it stuck in a tree. And it's way up there. Don't know how we're going to get that down. And you know what else? It smells like a skunk real close. Sure hope he's not gonna get us. You try to shake it from like a kite string or something. And just sit there and just pull with it. Just shake it loose. It's in there actually pretty good. You're pretty lucky that that's the first time it's ever really happened. He has hit a tree before. I've hit a tree, but I... It just didn't get stuck. It didn't get stuck. So. Hey, Elgin, it only happens to those that have drones. <laughs> it's April 25th, 2021. It's supposed to be 63 degrees today. This is take two of our trip west of Matitsi. We're waiting for the owner of the property to show up so that he can help us get the drone out of the tree. It's about 80 feet up and the lift that the owner has is about 60 feet. So it's going to be a challenge getting that drone out. Here comes the owner to our rescue. Yeah, Oh, oh man, it's just, it's just hanging. Oh no. Oh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Elgin caught it. He caught it. Holy cow. Okay, so, so Melissa's eating her ding dong. Great minds think alike. She's in here eating a donut, and I had to have a ding dong at eight in the morning, which I never do. Yeah. And then she offered me some donut too, but I already have some. Mm. 
Yeah, but her chocolate ding dong looks good. Mm. There's Elgin and the drone. Back together again. Well, it worked. Always shut the gate if it was closed when you got here. suspiciously like a closed road up ahead. It's April 25th. Guess what? The road opens on April 30th. Dang! Five days! Have we been here five days later? We could go down the road. Hey, wait a minute. There's next weekend. You can come back here next weekend. Yeah. It's only been three seconds for you. We're back at the site. <laughs> okay, so that's what MS is all about. <laughs> oh, it's been three seconds for you guys, but it's been two months for us. We're back here, and it is June 12th. Thanks. June we were 12th. Here April 25th and, last. And now that the animals are done doing their thing, we're going to go <laughs> keep going, and we're going to have some good old fun times. There's a cool antelope right up here. This isn't quite dick crack right now, but it will be in a bit. Can you see the trees in that? Mm -hmm. Well, now we're gonna turn left to, to actually Dick Creek right here on this road. And we will be starting to go into heavier trees and things. So we are coming down into all these trees, aspens, alders, I don't know. We're all kind of deciding what they are, but they are totally beautiful. You gotta love the aspens. Although they do look like birch and I can't always tell the difference. Even bad wolves can be good. <laughs> Sometimes. You're a bad wolf. Bad! Bad. wildflowers are really really pretty I don't know the names of them but I do know that when I was in high school when we would go to girls camp they'd tell us that the larkspur would poison the cattle and kill them I don't know if that's true and I don't even know what larkspur is this is off and it's to keep all the mosquitoes off of you 
I thought you said it was to keep all the men off you. Well, that too, because Dan don't like sand. But it's not just mosquitoes. If you get your- Checks, mosquitoes, bugs, uh, bluebirds. <laughs> Can I keep- they keep, it keeps you off your legs. <laughs> keeps them off your legs. You're <laughs> laying, holy crap. You ready? Cause every girl's crazy about a sharp dress man. <laughs> I was talking like Ginger Billy. He's remember, he's got these videos. Well, he built him a fire truck. Fire truck. <laughs> he also goes through his wife's purse. Don't you do that to me? No, it's too late. <laughs> Now we know this is wolf territory. Okay, so my sister's buying a car today and she needs some information for me and I thought I gave her everything she could possibly need for her loan. I don't have a chance of getting to a cell signal unless we go up. So we're going to take my phone to the drone and hope that when we send it up that the text will go when it gets over the mountains. So here are the guy, these guys are taping this phone. It isn't going to come off. Let me see. Hold it up so we can see what it looks like now. This is the last view you'll ever see of Melissa's phone. No, don't say that. In one piece. So Elgin, how high is that phone right now? It is 1,300 feet. 1,300 feet and now, it goes... And now it's 14. It's got 200 feet left and it's maxed out. Maximum flight altitude reached. Uh-oh, you mi missed it. I sure hope that tape doesn't... I can see the whole basin. So these guys are all watching to see Melissa's phone flying back down. Be careful, Dan had a glove on last time. I pulled my hat off. Let's see if the text message sent. All right, let's see if it sent. You know, if the text message sent, 
this will give us good information on whether or not you're out in the middle of nowhere and you need to have an emergency tech sent, send the drone up with the phone. If you have a drone. If it went. If you had a drone and well, it went. Well, you got an email from Epic Times. <laughs> yeah, but did the text go? <laughs> it doesn't matter. You got an email from Epic Times. That's more important than any tag. I do like the Epic Times. Darn it. It didn't send my text. It picked up my sister's text to me, but it did not send mine. So it turns out this is not a great way to send out an emergency SOS. We thought, tell us about that. How about it? That's his helmet. I love that, that gun holder that you have. Oh. I want one too. Can you see me walking into Walmart with that on? Dan says that we can't have one. We can't? Dan says we can't have holsters like that. Why we'll not? To the fire. <laughs> Because we have too much, much obstructions. <laughs> well, speak for yourself. I might be able to wear it. That's what oh, I want for Christmas. Can... I want that. We haven't done this you since we were young. Is? All right. Figure out how to start a fire. What? Hey, Dan, you can you start all over? Dan. <laughs> oh, because we had no matches? Yeah. So what did you do? We poured gas on the cement and we were trying to shoot bullets by it that hit us park. Because <laughs> we were out in the bins and had no matches. And how old were you? 16. <laughs> you liar. You know you were in your well, 20s. You guys were in your 20s. Just reliving your teens. I still don't know how I would start a fire. If you don't have flint, you don't have steel, you don't have any... I suppose I could use Elaine's eyeglasses. Yeah. Elgin's trying to start his pants on fire with Elaine's glasses. Yeah. Her glasses aren't thick enough. I'm not even getting a really a teeny tiny focus light. I wonder if I can burn my hand. Whoa! Probably perfect. Perfect! There. Mm. Don't you wish you could have a bite, huh? Oh. <laughs> Mine is cute. Mine's perfect. Mine's big, guys. Yours is very crunchy. Yeah. Here, take some carrots. Don't want to eat this one. I'm good. Hey, look at Dan. <laughs> oh, Dan. <laughs> We are dusty, dusty. The inside of the Jeep is dusty, the outside is dusty, and I'm covered in dust too. Woo, can't wait for a shower.
think we'd stop here at the old Grable River Bridge that used to be by Burlington. We used to drive on this all the time when we were young. Yeah, it was our old stomping ground. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to use the video that we used way back in the end of April to end this episode. So, hang on, let's go. Let's go for a ride. Yeah, there's some really pretty scenery. How'd you guys like to have a cabin down here? Yeah, lots of visitors. Four-legged kind. Those are bear tracks. They go up and down the road. up the roads but you do get caked with a layer of mud when you drive on them that's what my shoes look like just walking taking a step think you're gonna get up there that hill if i hadn't have stopped if we hadn't stopped we could it's a little slippery oh, out not too bad a little idea this was? Uh, I think it was yours, Elge. <laughs> Looks like there's bear tracks up at that, on top, on that hill. Hi, Dad. Okay. Okay, Jack. Those, my friends, up here are bear tracks. Maybe there's two bears. They separated their prints there. Not like we didn't already know it. Beware of bear. Food storage required. How would you get, like getting left out here and have to sleep the night? Do I get to have the gun? You know what I would do? What? I would freaking sleep in a tree. That's her, her bear protection. Those are her bear. Yeah. So the bears know that she's it's one of peace, them. Peace, brother, peace. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to be deceased. <laughs> there are so many grizzes over here. I just hope we can find one before we go back. Why? <laughs> because it would make our video so cool to have a big old fat bear running after you. <laughs> <laughs> after me, right? Yeah. Not you. <laughs> after you, you're the one that can run. <laughs> Remember I have a bum knee? It won't matter. It'll have to be you. You will run. It won't matter. But this is definitely bear country. See that? Those that pole over there? That really high pole? 
looks like it's part of a swing set right there that's where the hunters hang all the game after they shoot it so that the bears won't eat it so i think i would rather leave the game low for the bears to eat the game and not me yeah, I wouldn't mind if Dan hung me up there in the middle of the night. <laughs> <laughs> At least I knew I wouldn't be able to get mauled by a damn bear. <laughs> but it would be so cool to see a bear in this video. Just not up close. Not a she-bear with babies. And I can guarantee you they're probably hungry right now. Look, the guys are waiting for us to feed them. They're just standing there waiting hungry but they don't know what to eat so we better go help them i'm hungry i got up at 4 30 and i was awake at 2 30 worried that i was gonna miss my alarm 4 30 is early for me yeah. should i wear my boots or my on. shoes i want to be able to run fast well, let's put it this way. If you wear your rubber boots, at least you don't have to worry about tripping over the laces. We see a lot of bear prints Just around here. don't wear here. any shoes at all. Barefoot, that would make me run fast because that snow is cold. Point my nine in and everybody's like, oh, like that's really going to be big enough for a bear. That's just going to piss them off. <laughs> what? Walking into bear country, and everybody has their boots on. None of us will be able to outrun a bear now. Oh my gosh, look at the size of those prints. Just to give you an idea, that is my foot. You can see the claw marks in these things. This is my foot. Next to this bear track. Are you scared? Okay. Who wants to I'm shaking in my rubber boots. <laughs> I'm peeing in my rubber boots. <laughs> gonna be wet holy cow look at that you guys well so what do you think of the bear well i saw the claws inside the print look at how big that print is that is huge that's huge that is the biggest bear print i have, I have ever, ever seen. seen of course you know what sis i have never seen a bear print <laughs> yeah yeah the grizzly hair, the Sasquatch hair. <laughs> hey, that's a Sasquatch hair. <laughs> Look how tall it is. Point to it, Elaine, where it stops. Huh? Point where it stops. Well, his back was clear up here rubbing. That's how tall that mother was. Let's hope it's not a mother. Because they have cubs. Or a big daddy. <laughs> Off I know, if I hope these boys are good shot. Yeah, let's tell the bear. Woohoo! We're here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be funny. I'm crying wolf wolf. <laughs> yeah, because then Dan won't move when you. Now, Dan, next time it will really be. A, a bear really will be crashing to the trees, and Dan won't assume it's me. And he'll pounce <laughs> on me like a damn little rabbit. <laughs> this is so pretty. There's Dan packing his tan. Notice where I'm standing. <laughs> yeah, and I don't go very far. I think we're gonna head on out. We were looking for petrified wood, but I didn't see any. 
course it's hard to look when you're always looking behind you. Yeah. So Dan finds this piece of wood, tries to make me believe it's petrified. Hey, I'm ahead of everybody. That means if a bear comes, I can outrun him if it's not coming from up that way. Snowball. Ow. Hurt. It's actually kind of painful. It is. It's like ice. I rubbed my fingers in it trying to get that mud off my hands. <laughs> Wait a minute, Dad. I didn't even know you were there. I thought you were over on the I thought you were over on the corner. Whatever. All right, we have a special thanks to Andy and Sam at the Antler Ranch for helping us out with our drone problem. You guys were great. Thanks a bunch. Yeah, since he threw it up into the trees. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Like the tallest tree on the whole ranch. <laughs> <laughs> but at least it was right by the road. Easier to get. Subscribe to be notified of all new videos and click the bell and set to all.